okay if it will open up the screen <laughs> hello and welcome back to soul axiom where it's the new windows update the one that's kind of killing every game and making it load like shit and not really work properly yes it's that windows update so let us try and play a game for one um yeah <laughs> the other is um, remember how far we've got and what we've done and complete the game maybe right so what is this world does not look familiar don't know if we have done it we will know when we get in I guess it should have some sort of markings to show that it is done or not done obviously I am drinking a cup of tea whilst playing this Okay, space station. I believe we completed this one. Right, you have corruption in your soul. I see that. Right, how do we escape? Right, I believe we completed this one. So we will not be doing the alien one again. Right, there is an easy way to tell, I guess, and it would be to traverse to the floor below and see what we have unlocked right so there's that and that and then right, is there some sort of extra stairway right obviously we have to jump this would be activated if we did everything right so church of the sun and the moon and the devil did we complete I think we did that one right and then we have this one I definitely don't have any thoughts on what it could be so I'm guessing we haven't done this one but I know we've been in at least <laughs> the one and the two but the three we will complete it and see and I didn't intend for it to run we've definitely not done this okay as a horror game inside of a house what is this you know this is definitely not a familiar theme and concept to the entire world it's definitely not a level we've played right so we are inside of right that is green do you interact in some way right so it's the 30th of february 2026 now, now, this is a time machine. Oh my God! Then, okay, so we went to twenty third of November, twenty twenty five. We're in then. It's a lot tidier. There's um one of the developer sort of looking ladies in a very scantily clad outfit. I recognise. That she looks familiar from Master Reboot as one of the potential developers. Ooh, the window is suddenly visible. Well, um, come on. <laughs> the lagging is unfortunate. Right. So we're in the past, but pre-disaster, because in the future it looks a lot more disastrous. Do we want to explore the past? Right, the door does not open. I'm guessing we can traverse back to the future. Hey, references. Airhorn dot will have. We have no reflection. But yes. Wonder if things we change in the past affect the future. Okay, so. Yes, there's a email to the past, apparently. There's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Some sort of takeaway box in going into a post. There's literally some sort of beast there there's a raptor and then there's a tunnel here um which we can see and it's also blue hands you know it's like no you know it's not like it knows that it's in the game so wonder what that loops around to it must affect the future right <laughs> as we go between the walls this is clearly something that happens in America 
Okay, so we can go between the walls. Traverse to get a monkey! What do you have to say to me, monkey? Okay, um, let's read. Okay, so today marked the first I thought we got an achievement there. It's the first human child of the Deus Conduit and Containment Unit, DCCU. Subject was a victim of a ca fatal car crash. Unfortunately for her, there was little hope of resuscitation. Fortunately for me, I was contacted and upon arrival was given the time and equipment to be fully calibrated. As her previous parents, the conduit unit was successful. According to the GDR, a large amount of Deus energy was drawn from the deceased body and attached itself to the DC. This energy was transferred to the new, untested containment unit. Now the real experiment began. For a second, no more than a second, I had it, the containment unit had worked. Then, um, with a new split in mind, the unit shattered after this. The GDR could not determine any unattached status energy in the nearby area. The test has been concluded a failure. I can easily learn from this. I believe that it is little more than a minor setback. So you were stealing her soul, literally. I mean, you freed her soul. That would suggest that it stayed in her body long after she was dead, but <laughs> upon attaching the units, it allows you to steal her soul. I thought there was someone else in the room then for a second. But then after that, you were not able to. Right, let's go back to the future. Okay, so that leads around to that which is blocked off. That is the past. There's more stuff this way, it would seem. But it is a blocked door. Right. Is this another is. Okay. So for the mix-up, I'll send the other keys over this afternoon. Brian. Could you send them in maybe three months? Okay. We'll just blast more holes in more walls. Nothing wrong with doing that. Just break down all the walls. Right. Get destroyed. You are just the door. A cellar door! Okay, so that opens that. Maybe we've opened it in the future now. Okay, let's go back to the future. Definitely soul containment. Okay, and um, the door is still there. And now it's showing her pussy! Yes, I'm going to make lame jokes, and this is the artwork that was still raveled up back then. Alerts, alert, lockdown alerts. System admin reports missing BIOS, or BIOS. It depends on whether it's the basic input out of the system or, you know, the BIO of the person is just missing. Um, lag, frozen, in place, let me move. Right, so this is where we were. There was that wall which we have destroyed hmm you're saying that in the future I can activate a fan with the orange was the wall already destroyed <laughs> in this instance or was it because I went to the past and destroyed it hello is this the same story as the other one Charles Garnet also known as the werewolf of the doll was a French serial killer and cannibal for his acts of homicide. He was convinced a werewolf rather than a murderer, which is not surprising since he lived here in the 1500s. Shortly after being married, he moved and that still ended abruptly even in that sentence. He moved to another location and struggled to find food for himself and his wife, which therefore encouraged him to cannibalize. Okay, so he was the one actually eating people. <laughs> Just confessed to a stalked four children and murdered them. Jesus Christ. He would then eat his victims, but clearly wasn't as smart as he committed such atrocities in public, having at least 50 witnesses who saw the murders. He was burned at the stake on January 18th, 1573 for his horrific crimes. The Blood Countess. Elizabeth Bathory, known as the Blood Countess, was said to have been responsible for up to 650 killings but was officially convicted of 80 murders. That's a, a little short. In the Kingdom of Hungary during the late 1500s and early 1600s, many people testified different amounts of victims that Elizabeth may have been responsible for. Some say she murdered 30, 50 and 200, and even up to 650 individuals. As many 
After many years of research, investigators suggest she may have been the victim of conspiracy as many of the acquisitions were politically inclined. She was never sent to death, but was imprisoned by her family until she was found dead by a guard in 1614, so she may have never actually killed anyone. The Beast of Chicago, H.H. H. Holmes, was the alias of America's first serial killers. During the 1893 Columbian Exposition, Holmes lured many of the city's inhabitants to a specially built home which he called the World's Fair Hotel. He constructed this three-story building to create an elaborate house of horrors, which later became nicknamed the Murder Castle. The upper floors contained his loving quarters and many small rooms where he tortured and killed victims. Some of these rooms had gas jets so that Holmes could have asphyxiated his victims. There were also trapdoors and chutes that he could move the bodies down to the basement where he could burn the victim's remains in a kiln there or dispose of them in other ways. While he confessed to 27 murders, his actual body count is estimated to be as high as 200, making him America's most prolific serial killer. He made his end on May 7th, 1896, where he was hanged for the Pitiazal murder in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Also, there was a TV show that I can't remember what it was called, where they travelled back in time and um, they went to that. And it's a very modern TV show, so it's not old. And yes, they did that in it. Hello, is that just going back to the whole world as it usually is? I do not wish to do that. Also, I do not kind of wish to activate You Just Yes fan. I'm not a fan of that. I don't know what the left click is for that. Is that charge shot maybe? It is! Interesting that I've never actually come up with that until now. <laughs> All this time and I've not even used the charge shots. Well, I'm guessing we're going to use it on a boss at some point. Yes. Well, that should activate the fan maybe. Okay, and then what are the other drawings we have here? Okay, so there's a parcel. You go down the toilet. You put your mail down the toilet to get a parcel for this guy. And then the future, which is now, you got a blue hole. Ah, so we can blue hole our way through, not to be the blue hole from PUBG. So we can blue hole our way through somewhere in the future. Is it through there? Right, so we have um, interesting. Right, so we need more red cubes. And cubes, natural state is yellow. I've built a device to change it red. Okay, need more time making a yellow cube. Requires time. Okay, so I guess we need to go back to the past, make a yellow cube in the past, bring it to the future, <laughs> and turn it red, because we can turn them red in the future. Okay, so we've got a key to room 23. We can access. Dear Mr. Davis, regarding the timepiece you ordered from us, we still have not received your payment details. Please send the money and we will send the components. Regards, Alvin, Theodore, Simon, and the other chipmunks, if there are any other chipmunks. Okay, so I guess we want to go to the past. Right, yeah, you're blocked. We now have a key. We can actually use the key here. We should have probably used the key in the past. We probably still can use the key in the past. Right. There are things around the cupboards. This is a very dark room. Also, I know it's attached to the wall, but it kind of looks like it's floating out of place. Right, the light. The light is making it dark, if that makes sense. The ambient seclusion factor. Right, so we can look outside and see paper. <laughs> paper scenery! Right, let's go back to the past. Because Duck Brown is trapped in the past. Three months in the past. So it doesn't take that long to make an orange cube, I guess. Just three months. That's not too bad. 
It is, yeah. Interesting. Or, you know, I just didn't use that door before when I was probably clearly able to, right? We got a VIP thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Don't question it. We should have maybe been facing the other way to see that everything was burning behind us. I don't know why that made everything burn behind us, but it did. And it gave us a raptor of some sort. <laughs> do not question it. You do not know the way. <laughs> Is that door closed again? It has. Interesting. Also, the walls have closed themselves up, so I guess they were always open in the future. Right, so this is closed from that side, but it doesn't matter because we've already got the monkey out of it. This is always open in the past, but it's got time schedules. Okay, so... In even further in the future, oh wow, is there another machine to go further into the future? Okay, so now is actually the future for now because we are in the past. Okay, so this is where we are right now. This is the usual drawing. We've got the raptor, so that's that room. We know about that path. There's an orange cube in here apparently, and a then email box which we need to send is around the corner then in the future we've done that this and there's a toilet over here which we only get delivered if we send the email i guess then it comes then we can go into there then we've got two more futures where we need even more things and shards and there's an orange box there's another box or are they red boxes <laughs> they're in here right so the toilet actually gets delivered back to where we begin or we find a package in the toilets and then there's a dead guy even further in the future right so that's a pole of corruption bowl of corruption which we need to put an orange cube in or there is an orange cube in None of those work. Right, we can open this. Then send an email. Right, dear Alvin. Please find attached the correct payment details. Regards, Geo Davis. God. Who is actually the worst person. Short of three to me. <laughs> in the Conservative Party. Boris Johnson. Okay. Uh, oh shit. Um, right. You're gonna see us teleport because <laughs> the game lags and steam, you know, in streaming. And that of course then makes us just constantly walk when we're not meant to, and not be able to control our character. Right. So now we're in the future. We've got the room twenty-three key. Right. We can't go through here. We probably want to blow this up. There we go. Right, so now we've got the timepiece or a compass of some sort. Okay, so that's the package from the future that we needed. Right, anything to do with the timepiece? Right, the timepiece is there. We need to deliver it. Ah, I see. We attach it to the time machine. And now it's an even better time machine that lets us go into the future. So let's go into the future. Yes, now we're in the future. We can do more things! Okay. The beasts of Britain Madden Manor. Which is probably where we were before. You've certainly decorated a bit more. It takes you three more years to actually decorate. 
Okay. Hello, monkey. Sinister monkey. Okay. Britain's the second largest city in Wales has over the last 25 years been a magnet for the homeless from all over the UK thanks to Brexit. This has been down to the fact that one of the main homeless support charities, Home Wales, being based there. Home Wales have done a lot of great work to help people from all walks of life who have hit the harder times with more food kitchens and part-time accommodation available for the most vulnerable than anywhere else in the country. This has attracted a steady stream of displaced people over those years seeking help, which has established Bridgend as a champion for the homeless. Recent statistics, however, have seen a significant drop in homeless numbers in the area over the last year, even though we are in the throes of another economic downturn. Leah Jeffrey from Home Wales says, We have had seen... We have had seen... What sort of sentence is that? We have seen... Or we had seen. <laughs> is there meant to be a line, you know, it's like dash, have or had seen a significant reduction? You can decide which tense you're using because it's in the future, future of the future, of the past, of the future, because we're even further in the future than this future in the past. Significant reduction in the people seeking refuge over the last year, as well as a drop in the return in refugees. We do not track anybody who comes in and out of our help centres due to privacy laws which makes it hard for us to know where people we ha help ultimately end up. Councillor Darren Morgan said, The drop in the homeless in this area is a testament to the great work that Home Wales are doing in helping the most vulnerable integrate back into society. US presidential candidate Nathan Nathaniel Solomon. Hmm. Alicia saves your soul. Discover the secret to a mortality. Alba. The world's the UK's first owl bar, sorry, is coming to Wales and it sounds like a who's Beyond Infinity we preview the sci-fi blockbuster Zero Kill Huns, six people found dead. Hmm, interesting. Alright. Well Monkey Nothing else interesting in here. There's a laptop, obviously we shall not be able to do anything with it. Right, so there's skeleton heads. There's soul purging devices. There's Gordon Freeman in his age. But we need to make a Gordon Freeman suit I guess with the bits and bobs. Right we need to find some bits. It's rainy in the future and Alicia is already here. Advertising. This door is of course open. I caught a sneak of something orangey out there. Right let's just light up our path. Seeds! Duncan! What? <laughs> okay, so I think we needed those seeds in the past. For something. I guess we need to grow a tree. Right. Hello! You've turned your toilet into some sort of experiment that requires red cubes. Right, we need an orange cube. Orange, you glad to see us? Why is it linked to the bath? Do you lie in the bath to activate it? <laughs> okay, so we need some more cubes. We've seen that machine before as well. Okay, red stuff! Red painting, right, so this is the future we need. There are three red cubes in there. Well, or we need three red cubes, right? So there's also circle, circle, circle. Well, I mean, we can memorise that easily enough. And that is the room that we're in. And then there's an orange cube in there, okay. I don't know what all of these drawings are. There's like two layers of paint. <laughs> Nothing we can take. Okay, so... Do we access you? Do I blast you? I guess I need some sort of device to actually activate it. Right, have we been in here? Whoops. Well, I guess we have because it's the time travel room. Yes. Okay, any advanced paths? We can't access the laptop. Again, the same drawing with the circle, circle, circle. We can't activate that. Looks like some sort of fabricator. No! It's 
moving without me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. What have we in here? We have statue. We have a bed. We've got some interesting designs. We got a book. I thought we were leaving footprints for a second then, and that is something to be concerned with. Right, okay. So we can take it now, whatever was in it now. Hmm. Or did we plant the seeds? We planted the seeds. That was probably stupid. We needed to plant them in the past. Because doing them in the future isn't going to do a loss. <coughs> Right. No more seeds. I doubt it would let me break the puzzle entirely like that. Not this game. <laughs> Some games, yes. Not this one. We go into the super future or the past? The super future. Okay. Um, <laughs> definitely disaster world now. <laughs> if it wasn't before... I call this in advance. The world has ended. Trump. It only took until 3032. Or 2032. Yeah, 3032. No, that's loads of time. That's over a thousand years. No, 2032! So it's 2018. So what? That's 12, 14 years? It's not that far in the future. Disaster. <laughs> Hello, all thing guy. What do you have to say to me? If God be for you, who can be against you? Catch on fire and others will love to come and watch you burn. Well, I mean, we almost ignited ourselves in the past, and of course, Boris Johnson, aka G.O.D. Gordon. <laughs> okay, God, if go Gordon is for you, who can be against you? Yeah, if Boris Johnson is on your side, who's against you? Catch on fire and others will love to come watch you burn as the world has burnt. The entire world has burnt. This is Boris Johnson's future. Right, so we've got some radioactive materials. No red cubes. Ah, you filled the bath now. I was unable to obtain the correct components and the experiment failed. Well, I mean, we want to change the future here, don't we? I see you. <laughs> I mean, the bip isn't really necessary. Okay, so... We... yeah, it's the in that room that he died, I guess. But we are not in that room. You have blocked this up for some reason. I mean, I could totally <laughs> glitch my way past that if I wanted. Alright, so we did destroy the fan in the past. I don't know if it did anything. Okay. Anything in here. This room is certainly looking a lot less populated. It's got spiders. Okay, it's a big spider. <laughs> it's a giant spider! And it was this room that was populated. I hear you crawling in my skin. These wounds they will not heal. Fear is all I know! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so this statue got destroyed. The purple has grown. Hello, monkey. I will look at you first. Okay, so here's Project Persephone. I had an eureka moment whilst visiting Professor Stars at the Winter Corp offices last week. While that bitch will never be an inspiration to me, her choice of desk ornaments may have inadvertently given me the solution to my so soul storage problem. Oh, she looked down at her nose at me at the meeting and again personally attacked me about my latest about the latest soul action panel bullshit. I zoned out for a moment. 
My attention was taken by a trophy she had on her desk for some science award she didn't deserve. It was made of a collection of crystals. Why I hadn't I thought of this before? A soul is contained within a mortal body, and it's the organic vessel which is the host for our consciousness. I have been focused up until this point on the digital storage solution for the extraction process, which has proved to be unsuccessful time and time again. I should have been looking for an organic solution all along, not a digital one. Crystals have their own unique energetic vibration, would be the perfect potential storage unit for Deus energy. Crystal types. There are four main crystal types to consider. Covalent crystals, metallic crystals, ionic crystals, molecular crystals. Okay, durability, high melting point, ability to store energy. Further research is needed, but early tests demonstrate the resonant cavities which exist in these crystals can store electromagnetic energy and are active antennas to energy. So, obviously, it is a thing that people are trying to use crystals for storage and computing. Right, again, this is way too late. We should have planted it earlier. In the corruption in the past. But maybe that's just like a secret thing, you know. It might not be the actual intended route to... Game completion! We can probably complete the level without the flowers. Which would be something... Okay, is there anything else that we can do? Because obviously growing, growing the crop flower isn't ideal. Okay, what is there in the future? It's just the dead guy, isn't there? And that is this. There is nothing else for me here. Let's go back to the past. Okay, paradox detected, reset protocol. Uh oh. Uh oh, we broke the memory, we created a paradox, <laughs> it's because I planted the flower isn't it, I planted the flower in the wrong spot so we've created a paradox, I'm not leaving, I refuse to leave, it's telling me to go back to the hub world, no, <laughs> I will not. I will not do this. Okay. Oh shit. Um. Fuck. Glitch. Paradox detected. Shit. <laughs> Stuck in the scenery. Fuck me. Ah. Why? This is literally. I have to exit the menu. Fuck! That wasn't even being funny. That was literally... Ugh. We broke it. And we didn't deserve to break it. Right, so this time I'm not going to use the flowers in that instance. I'm going to save them. And go and use them elsewhere. And I was assuming that by going there we might have been able to get the flowers back right. So I don't need to look at everything, I can just sort of... Hello. We got the monkey off that area though, haven't we? So it's not really a big deal. Okay. <laughs> so. All I really need to do is collect the bits in the order, in the correct order. Do I need to destroy the fan? I do not know. Right. This, we're in the past. In the past, there is something. Right. Okay, so that is never open in the future unless we open it in the past. So we do need to open it in the past, and then we do also need to open that door to allow us to build the time machine. Right, there is an orange cube in that room, apparently. With a blue door to get through there, okay. Well, we can only do that in the past, right? You make the orange cube. There's a cube. There's a cube. But it's not broken and we can't pick it up. How do I do you? Okay, so that is involved in the cube creation, but we need time to create it. Okay, so in the past is where we can do everything. So let's do it in the past. 
we can probably create the cube in the past and then it will be available in the future. What did it call the future? I mean, obviously it's now and then, but I guess with the clock it doesn't really have a description. Right, so we can break you. That leads to a monkey, but we need it for the fan anyway. <laughs> I will also break you, even though there's nothing but a monkey in here. Um, again, again, and again, again, and again. Was that there before? <laughs> as we travel through time again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Would you like some tea, Father? You sure? Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. That's what that reminded me of. Okay, so. Sorry for the mix-up. I'll send the other keys over this afternoon. Brian. We do not have the machine to build things in the past. We will fully explore the past as well. Right, so we can break down that wall. <laughs> we can open this door. It may not need be necessary to do that. Right. But we will fully explore. That door we do not have the key for. This door is locked in the past. I may have been able to open it in the future. <laughs> right, let's go to the future. Then we can destroy the fan. Which I'm sure there's a reason for. Gotta be a reason for, right? <laughs> you can't open that door outright. Right, that's blocked. We definitely don't have the package. Okay. Now this is open. I mean, we can just charge shot it. Kaboom. Sure. Nothing could go wrong with that. Right, so there are some boxes. Okay, good. <laughs> that turns off the fan to that, I guess. Right. Then, the box is in there. This is locked. The box still not sense. Still can't interact with us. Right, there were some keys somewhere. Right, the, follow this wall that we've now opened actually, because it's probably through here. Plus there's the laptop, yes, and then the key. And obviously it's locked from the other side. Dear Mr. Davis, we need to get your payment details before we can get what we've ordered, so we need to go back to the path to fix that. Right. But now that we've got keys, we can open this. There's nothing in here for us. <laughs> right, anything in here. This is the time zone where we want to maybe plant the flower. Because the corruption will grow from here <laughs> to the future to give us a flower. In the future, okay, we've opened everything up. Let's go to the future. Ideal. We're not going to cause any paradoxes this time. Right. This time I can actually watch it burn as well. Right. So we've opened that. Yeah, touching that. Okay, so there's a flaming man. That's all it is. <laughs> it's Yodi burning, maybe. But it gives us a T-Rex. Don't get caught on that physics. Oh my god, that corner. <laughs> right, so definitely nothing else back here but that. No, do not do that to me. Okay, nothing else in there, nothing else in there. I mean, just because we got him, we got to reset it. Otherwise we're creating paradoxes. <laughs> right, so there is no fan there. There is no fan. The fan isn't even installed in this timeline. Okay. Then just to make sure that it's 
there for the future. I'm going to do that. Okay, and then this. We need to go send ourselves an email or Alvin an email with the correct payment details. We do not have the flowers, but we will take them from the future. Okay, so you do say now and then, right? So yeah, in the past you need to plant the flowers and then you get the crystal in the future, but because we planted them in 2026, we caused a paradox that broke the loop. We are not allowed to break the loop. Okay. But anything else in here? No, nothing worth getting. <laughs> okay, so we got the key. Let's go to the future. We now get the package. Package has the clock. The clock lets us go to the future. Anything else in this timeline? I thought that was a gingerbread man for a second. <laughs> You, why are you not destroyed? That was one problem. We left that intact. Okay, so we need to make sure everything in every timeline is correct. <laughs> every time we pass through this. We're not planting the seeds in this timeline. We haven't collected any seeds. Can we collect the seed from this timeline? I don't think so. Okay, let's go to the future. And carry on my wayward son. Okay, now we're in the future. We can get the seed. Anything in here for us? Just a monkey that we've already read. Nothing else. Right, we got the computer. The big screen. You got some pictures up. Which we didn't really pay attention to before. Right. Got the seeds. We're not going to plant the seeds in this timeline. They do not belong in this timeline. That will cause a paradox. Oh, you know, it just may cause a paradox regardless. We do not have the red things. There may not be anything to do in this timeline. <laughs> There may be absolutely nothing to do in this timeline, right? Okay, now that we've destroyed the fan, we have this open, yes, okay. Which it wasn't before, but it should have. Okay. Because the fan repopulated itself, stupidly that was the problem okay so you're an orange cube okay that's what we need is hello cube storage what <laughs> just a raid of computers you've just got i guess that's trying to do your own hello hang in there no do a thing you know what's it called supercomputer or a server at home if you've never watched Person of Interest, where they make a supercomputer from a raid of essentially a whole buttload of PlayStation 3s, they may have been PlayStation 4s, then, you know, go watch it, it's a good show. Right. Anything else in here? We are not planting the seeds. We're not planting the Duncan. We are going back to the past. Right, so that's the chair where we may turn ourselves into Gordon Freeman. Okay, let's go to the future. There is nothing for us in the future, so we're going to skip the loop. I'm definitely going to skip the loop. <laughs> Illegal paradox detected, reset protocol. Is it the paradox because I've got all of the items that I shouldn't have in the past? Okay, so this is just a corruption box. But I guess if we uncorrupt it, we can detect going to the future there. But as for now, <laughs> we cannot. So it wasn't even a reset thing. I thought it was a reset box to go back to the world hub. Okay, so now we're safe. We are not going into that room. We need to unlock everything again every time. Because, 
It's the only way. We don't necessarily need to because we've got the orange cube already. So it's a good job I opened that one as well, otherwise we would have never got to the orange cube. Because that one may have been closed off in the future. Which also means that there's <laughs> the other one on the other end of this that I should also do, just in case it is a necessary path to completion. And at the same time we will open the door. Okay, in this instance we now need to turn the orange box. We cannot in this time zone. <laughs> it's the next time zone where we can turn the orange box into something else. Okay, do not get caught on the scenery. We need to plant the seeds in this timeline. Seeds planted. Okay. So seeds planted in this time, we need to destroy that wall. It says, yes, for definite. <laughs> we sent the email. Okay. So that's the time machine. We've got the dinosaur. Okay, so then in this time zone we need to destroy that. We need to use the blue hole on the wall, it says. We need to blue hand it for definite in the future. Which we've already done in this timeline, so that's safe enough. And then we need to use that machine. And we get a red cube out of it. You kind of say that I need to put it into there now, which I can't. Ah, it's freezing on me. <laughs> Right, we've hung about long enough. Right, okay. So we don't need to email again, because we've got everything that we need. Right, so we've got the orange cube. Okay. We will open this door. Just to double check, okay. We don't really need to look at the eye again in the future, we've kind of already done that. <laughs> We can always do it again in the last loop. Okay, so now we've got the orange box. Valve, Gordon Freeman, what? <laughs> yes, orange box. We need to turn it into the red box. It's got Half-Life 3 in it. Don't you know? Yes. I mean, they've got the black box and they've got other boxes, you know. So, why not the red box? Okay, supercharged. I am fully charged. Destroys. Okay. But then you say I need a blue hand in here. Okay, don't freeze me up. Right, don't freeze me up. Do not freeze me up. Okay, so we can put the orange box into that. It will take time. A long, long time. A long, longly, long, long time to change it red. <laughs> then let's go look in here. You kind of suggest I need to, but we have done it all. We can paradox the key. We've now got two keys. Dear Mr. Davies, we got on the timepiece you ordered from us. Still have not received the payment details. Yes, paradox detected. Regard Alvin, Simon and Theodore. <laughs> We can't reopen that door, which is odd. Okay, but we've already been to the past and we've already done that. Okay, so we've already got the timepiece on this. <laughs> Do not glitch your way through physics. Okay, so nothing else in here. Okay, so this plant is starting to grow. It is not going to be close to being ready. Do not get me stuck in the corner, game. Responds. Okay, Steam in home streaming is playing up. <laughs> it's lagging heavily. Okay, so you're not ready yet, Corruption Flower. Let me play! Right, <laughs> we need to get a move on before all stability of the game fails. <laughs> By the game, I mean Steam and Mom streaming more than anything because normally it's the other PC that tends to crash and we lose the ability to play through that crashing. But in this instance, it may just be that Steam and Home streaming is playing up with the latest Windows update. So, yeah, any staggers I apologize for. Okay, let's get some more seeds. Oh no, it said we needed three of those things. So, you're gonna make me loop three times to get them and also I need to get the orange box again 
because I need s several of them. So you're going to make me loop and loop and loop, aren't you? Right, so, yeah, green. Pull it out again, and then we will have an orange box again. Okay, so I think we're stuck in a time loop here. <laughs> Until we get enough red squares. To reload! No, it's not red square reload, it's... Okay, so we can have another orange box. <coughs> okay, but then that orange box in here will be red. Yes, you are red. Thank you. Then we need to go, <laughs> unfortunately, loop again. Right, so now we've got a crystal. You do not grow me three, do you? It kind of has three crystals on it. Okay. You do suggest that I need three crystals, though. So. Okay. That is not the map of the future. Hello, time you can shut up now. We've kind of completed that loop. Okay, so yeah. Three red boxes, one crystal is all we need. How many red boxes are on there already? Do you already have the majority of them? I hope. Otherwise you're going to make me loop, aren't you? Again! And that'd be worse than the movie Looper. Okay, I need to poke you in the eye. If God saw you burning, would he care? Probably not. Okay, how many red squares do you have on you? You have one. Yeah, I only have one red square. I'm not going to deposit my red square because it will cause a paradox. And then we will fail. And that is all that we have in this time period, isn't it? You're not a spider, you are a glitch man. Yeah, the flower isn't even here. <laughs> Wait, maybe if I'd have picked it in this time period. Although it has wilted and flowers in this time period. Okay, so we've got some more seeds. Let's go again. Let's go around again. Maybe we'll turn back the end of time. Why do you have Peter? Radioactive garbage pizza. <laughs> okay. Illegal paradox detected. We need to grow at least one more red cube. <laughs> so I want to do three. I don't. Okay. In this time period, I need to plant seeds. <laughs> that is all I need. To no. It is not all I need to do. I need to bust open that wall. I have keys. The keys are permanent. We don't care. I need to bust open that wall. And double check that it's busted open. And I also need to do the one in here, actually. Just in case we need to get another orange cube. <coughs> we hopefully don't have to do it again. Okay. There is not a thing to put in there. We don't care about going through that. Okay, let's go forward in time through the spatial anomaly. Brown and Sons. They make a very efficient timepiece for travelling to the future. Okay, so then we need to blast that, otherwise we can't get the orange cube. Hello? The wall doesn't exist anymore, so you're Fusil attempts to block it were kind of... Yes, we already said fusil. But you know what I mean. Kind of irrelevant. Okay. This flower is growing nicely. Anything else we need to do in this time period? I think not. Other than not glitch out when steaming home streaming fails. Okay. 
yeah, in the future we can get the orange cube and then and also a second red cube. Wait, yeah, I was gonna say, did we lose our red cube? <laughs> it's gonna be mares. Also, don't go through doors before they're open, so that is gonna glitch out the scenery. I mean, yeah, it's minor playtesting that should have been done on that factor, but, you know. <laughs> I glitched out of the scenery and got stuck on objects a few too many times in this game. But it would have been nice to not be able to do that. Hello? I can't pick up any more orange cubes. That is interesting. <laughs> Actually, that's reassuring. It's like, you definitely don't need any more orange cubes. But we can take another purple crystal, but it's the same purple crystal that we already had. So it's not too bad. Okay. We can take another pot of seeds. Because why not? Got to carry some seeds with us. Seeds are the hope for the future. Okay. And this should be the last trip that we need to take. We should be able to complete it now. Although we're already in a bad future, so... Right. Deposit. Deposit. I don't know where the crystal goes. I was unable to obtain the correct component. Why does that not appear? It's glitched out. Why is it glitched out? Is it a paradox cube? We can put that one in, but we can't put this one in. Where does the crystal go? Where does the crystal go? I can't see any logical slot for the crystal. The crystal has to go in here, right? That is unfortunate. Right, God's remains. Okay. So, he is in there. If I broke the puzzle somehow. Do we put the crystal in a different time period? I mean, because it's broken, I kind of want to take the paradox with me. Okay. Right, so is there a point to opening that door? <laughs> hmm. Okay, so we got all that done. These look like they're designed to hold the red cubes. Okay, so we can put one in. I'm going to take my glitch one back. Because obviously it's glitched out. <laughs> and then we're going to travel again through the paradox. And if that doesn't fix it... <laughs> we couldn't take the orange one, remember. We might be able to take the orange one next time just because of the fact that we've broken the timeline. Wait, no paradox? There was no paradox. Door fully open. <laughs> okay. What did we do wrong? <laughs> what 
What did we do wrong? Right, blue. Maybe destroying things in the past also affects it. It's like, okay, so yeah, we've done it again and again and again and again. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Okay, so yeah, we do that. We plant the seeds. We send the email. We got the T-Rex. The T-Rex, the paradox. Should we have kept the T-Rex? Did we take the T-Rex on the wrong loop? Right, seeds. Get planted. We probably don't need to plant the seeds. Okay. So definitely says we do it in the future although 2029 not 2032 right so we need to put the red cubes in there in 2029 and I didn't do that that's where we went wrong okay let's go to 2029 we've got a red cube <coughs> So we need to put them in here in this year. There's nothing to deposit them into. Oh, we're in 2026, okay. In the future. Okay, so we destroy that. Let's get an orange cube again because we'll need it. Uh, no, we get the orange cube from the future. Shit. Right, so we have no orange cube. So we might be stuck on a fucking... another cycle. Because we have no orange cube. Because it wouldn't let us take an extra orange cube. Okay, there's nothing else we need from this timeline. That I'm aware of. We've got to do another cycle anyway, so... <laughs> it doesn't matter if I fuck it up. Just because we've only got one orange. I mean one red. Damn it, greens. And I will have a look in there, and if we fucked it up, you know, I'm not going to deposit all my boxes. We could only take the one box back, though, which was a bit unfortunate. You know, if it's like, you know, that it's wrong, give me both of them back. Okay, so now we've got an orange one, which it wouldn't let us take before. Which year do we put it in? No, we take the red one from this year. We do not deposit it in this year. And then the machine is here to put it all in. Okay. Right, so we need to do another loop. <laughs> then I'll investigate the future to see if our red cube remains here in the broken future. It did not. We are not going to lose another cube to this fake future though. <laughs> Alright, so paradox detected. Okay, this time there's a paradox. Okay. Right. Turn one. That's just fire. There's nothing in here, right? So we need blue. Blue. Yes. Blue. Yes. Okay. Blue. Anything else to do in this timeline? I do not believe so. Just don't get stuck in the scenery. Plant seeds, which we do not have. We do not need seeds. It's irrelevant. We've got a crystal. We only need one. We can only carry one. It is okay. Okay. To the future, or to the then, or to the now. Sorry. <laughs> so now we're in the now. 
Then we need reds. We need to blast that. Let's test if we can take another orange cube. Oops, the orange cube is in the future. Right, is there anything else I need to do in this timeline? That is locked off. Though you kind of suggested that I could open it. Ooh, <laughs> we can. Needlessly. Okay, so we need to put the orange cube into that. Perfect. Anything else that we need to do? Nothing, nothing. Nothing. I mean, we don't care about growing another flower. Okay, let's go to the future. Let's get our red cube. And then we can put everything into the device. It should be fine. Okay. Right, so we've got our red cube. Well, definitely doesn't break. Okay. This time. One. Two. And where do we put the crystal? Crystal! Yes! Okay, now his machine should work. We've fixed it. He has three components. He has everything he needs to survive. There's an emergency exit. As if we need that. There's an emergency Brexit. Okay. We don't need to go into that. But we will, for the fun of it. Just in case we need an orange cube, just in case we fucked it up. <laughs> That would suck not to have that and to have to go through the cycle again. Okay, so we've got an orange cube. Hopefully just having the orange cube doesn't fuck it up. Because that would suck. Tremendously. Okay, nothing else that we need in here. Nothing else that we need in here. Okay, so... This should now be a different future. The future's future of the past is a different future. So we're now in the 1st of July or June 2032. Mm, it's looking as broken as ever, but hopefully now the experiment works and he captured the soul. The irony is it wouldn't have worked if it wasn't for the fact that we changed everything in this timeline. Du, du, du. Hmm. He is here. I can't touch that. <laughs> yeah, you won't let me touch them now, but now there is a soul. It's a touch. We captured the soul essence. In the future. Okay, and it is raining. There is a big table to Mr. David. Continues to humiliate. I've endured her taunts for too long. Gordon. Insufferable bits. <laughs> While we've never really seen it, we have in the past had a mutual respect for each other's work. But lately I find I don't trust her as I once did. In fact, I fear she is planning to take action against me, even though she is the aggressor. It baffles me that a fellow veteran of science can be so against the kind of progress my research is trying to encourage. Project Persephone is nothing short of a miracle. Its name will be etched into history beside evolution, calculus, and gravity. Why can't she see that? Well, you misspelled miracle. <laughs> also, are they just there to taunt you, all the monkeys? And just there to taunt Gordon? It's like, yeah, aren't you doing so well? At least they've got a meaning. Okay, now we've activated the platform. We've done all the ones in this world. So thanks for watching. Join us again some more. Goodbye.